I know this must be hard to look at, but you don't have to stay. No, Brady, I, I have to. All right. Anyway, uh, big fan of your new look. It suits you. Thanks, Freddy, but, uh, Dad, is there just anything at all that we can do to try and save him? Charlotte, there's nothing to save. He's gone. I just can't believe Afton would just kill his own son. Not the first time he's been prone to killing children. I just wish I could have done something. Charlie, you did everything you could. Clearly it wasn't enough. Why couldn't these powers kick in sooner? Hey, these powers you have right now are probably going to be very useful for taking down Afton. Yeah, I guess you're right, but what's the point of having powers if I don't even know how to use them? As someone with powers, I might be able to help you out. I mean, I barely even know the capabilities of the powers I have right now, so having someone else to train with, maybe we'll speed up the process. We can help each other by training together. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Listen, Fazbear, I'm not letting you anywhere near my daughter. Listen, Henry, I don't think you have a choice, because if me and her don't train together, then it's gonna be me and a bunch of animatronics with no powers. Versus Afton, the Mimic, the Stitch Wraith, and VR Freddy's gang. And I think two animatronics with powers is better than one. <sighs> Fine. I trust you, but it doesn't mean that I forgive you. Come on, Lefty. Is that name really appropriate anymore? I guess not. How about... The Puppet. All right then, puppet, come on. Hey, we might just be doing this to take down Afton, but we're doing it for Goldie too. Yeah, for Goldie. Afton, was it really necessary to kill your own child? His decision was completely logical. If we didn't kill his son right then and there, he would have grown to become one of the most powerful animatronics at the pizzeria. In fact, we should have killed Lefty right then and there too, because now they're gonna be a real big problem. But maybe we could have recruited his son. There'd be no point in that. I'm dying anyway, and with him gone now, I have nothing left to lose. And now all we have to do is get a few more things situated, and wait for Henry to clean things up and bring in some more agony. I thought you said the agony was becoming more useless. It will, but right now, it's a steroid, and I need to be as powerful as possible, because no one screws me over, and no one screws me over. Mr. Afton. Oh, oh, Funtime Freddy, you scared me. Sorry, sis, you looked like you were zoning out. Just wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, uh, thank you. No problem. Hey, William. Oh, God, is everyone trying to scare me or something? Uh... No, I just wanted to see how you were holding up. Ever since, you know, Evan. Oh, well, I've... have been... Fine. Well, I mean, more on the lines of... 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I. <laughs> I try to be as good as I can be. Well, glad to hear that, friend. Sorry for leaving, but uh, Charlotte's graduating today, and I don't really want to miss that. <laughs> She's about to go to third grade. <laughs> well, you, you have fun with that. You have fun with that. Hey, Spring, did you notice that business is kind of dropping around here ever since those journalists started digging up stuff about Fred Bear? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm the one doing all the bills, so of course I would notice. It's just I'm trying to come up with an idea to bring the people back here. To make this business successful again. Well, I mean, I guess you could use that Fredbear controversy as a marketing strategy. And what exactly are you talking about? Sure, there's some people who have negative views about him, but there's probably a larger audience that have a way more positive and nostalgic view on the diner. Utilize it. Huh, I guess you're right. Hey, how would you like to do a meet and greet or perform again? Oh no, for a little event. Ah, oh, no. Uh, I'm too old for any of that. I can't perform like I used to. Okay, well, uh, thanks for the idea, at least. Let's bring it on. Is something wrong, William? I think I might have an idea. This old spring bonnie suit should do just fine. Surprised it's still in good condition. Can't remember the last time I put you on. Ah, still fits like new. Even though being little worse for wear. <laughs> Let's get this place back in business.
William, what the hell were you thinking? I was just trying to get this place back in business. By using a run-down old springlock suit? Are you stupid? I was just trying to save this company. Well, good job. I almost sang this whole place on fire. Mr. Afton. Oh, what now? Name's Mr. Nafield, and in your little show, you've seemed to really injure my kid. He has third degree burns on a portion of his face. You can see his wisdom teeth. That is how bad the flesh wound is. I'm so sorry, that wasn't my intention. We can pay off the medical bills. My son's life is ruined and you're trying to throw a few bucks at me? No, that's not what I meant. I don't think you understand. I'm suing you. This whole place is getting shut down. I mean, come on. Animatronics lighting on fire. I don't, I don't think that's safe for children. Well, uh, yeah, I know that. Well, then what went wrong, Mr. Afton? What went wrong? Wonderful answer. Now, how much should I sue this place for? How about two million? That should cover the cost. How's that sound, Mr. Afton? Two million dollars for ruining my son's life. What the hell are you doing? Uh, Mr. Nafield, just, just pay attention for a few, few, few seconds, uh... William, I'm not gonna hit him on the head. Do it! Uh, just, uh... You're a horrible business owner and a weirdo. See you in court. Ugh, God damn it, Henry. Why didn't you hit him in the head? Because that's wrong. What were you even planning to do after that? I... I don't know. God damn it, we are so screwed. Thanks, William. One way to save this company and I have to get rid of Miss Snaffield. But, but, but how? I, I have to kill him. Yeah, yes, yeah. I have to, I have to kill him, but I can't just go in there. I mean, what if, what if I mess up? I need practice. Hey there, kids. Are your parents around? Oh, no, actually, me and my friends here, we're actually here alone, and we're going to leave after closing, and we're going to bike over to our friend Jake's house. Oh, well, that's nice to hear, I guess. See, I'm Freddy Fazbear's assistant, and I was sent out here to get a special guest for a meet and greet with the legendary Fredbear. I presume you've heard of him. I've actually heard of my older brother saying something about him, but yeah, that sounds cool. Ooh, can I join? I, uh, uh, sure. I, I don't see why not. <laughs> Right this way. Question Freddy Fazbear's assistant. What's your name? You can call me the Yellow Rabbit. Come on, let's move along. Here's Fredbear! Ta da! <laughs> My sister has a poster of him and he doesn't look like that. Well, see. That's because this is the original prototype of Fredbear. Whoa, that's so cool. I know, I know. Now, how about you get a better look at that? Okay, Yellow Rabbit. Whoa. 
Now, hey there, sweetie. Speaking of prototypes, would you like to see the original prototype of Freddy Fazbear? Whoa, that'd be sick! I know, I know. And he's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm see the AZs. 